get started today we are gonna uh, talk about new chapter which is chapter 5 uh, chapter 5 uh, we are going to talk about the aggregates remember in the first lecture in chapter 1 we said that aggregates one of the main materials that uh, uh, we uh, commonly use in civil engineering and uh, uh, we use the aggregates in order uh, for example to make uh, concrete and also to make asphalt concrete and also we are going to use the aggregates in order to provide stability for the uh, foundation so aggregates is very important and since the aggregate is a crucial uh, material uh, we need to uh, uh, study the uh, behavior and the properties of the aggregates so first what does it mean by aggregates in civil engineering the term aggregate means a mass of crushed stone so I, I have crushed stone here I have a big stone then a, a breakdown took place and then we have uh, uh, small pieces so I have crushed the stone or gravel this one is gravel okay or a sack here we have a, diff a different type of sack so we call all of this aggregates so aggregates it means crushed stone gravel and sand and like you can see here they mainly are composed of individual particles so I have let's say this sand it composed of individual particles the same for the uh, gravel and the same for the crushed stone so uh, where how we can get the aggregate so in order to get aggregates uh, I can get aggregates from the gravel bits like this one I can get aggregates or from the uh, river run deposits uh, I can also uh, get aggregates and also from the rock quarries so in the rock quarries I can also uh, get aggregates I can break down the big uh, rocks and as a result uh, I'm going to get uh, crushed stone so here uh, are the main uh, sources for the uh, aggregate generally uh, the gravel comes from pits and uh, river deposits like this one here whereas the crushed stone are uh, the result of the processing rock from the quarries this one here so I need to break down uh, the rocks in order to get the crushed stone while the, the gravel this one here um, I can t get this one from the pits and from the river uh, deposits and all natural aggregates result from breakdown of large rock masses uh, in those who took the uh, geology course they know that geologists classify rocks into three basic types we have the igneous rock we have the sedimentary rock and we have the metamorphic rock and in order to know whether the aggregate is suitable or not I need to evaluate uh, the, the uh, properties uh, of the uh, 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 rocks itself or the aggregates itself I need to check the physical chemical and the mechanical properties to make sure that the quality of the aggregates is good quality uh, also uh, in order to know the best aggregate uh, that is going to be depend on the historical performance let's say that I have three uh, sites here in this city in order to uh, get aggregates so how do I know um, the aggregate has good quality in this case I need to ask about those who uh, use the aggregate from all the sites and ask them about uh, uh, the uh, performance of the aggregate so uh, this maybe is going to be the best strategy in order to know whether the aggregate is going to be suitable or not regarding the uses of the aggregate like I said that the aggregate uh, uh, are, is crucial uh, uh, civil engineering uh, material and we are going to use the aggregate either as underlying material or as a filler if I'm going to use the aggregate as an underlying materials for uh, foundation and the pavement we are going to use the uh, aggregate in order to provide stability and for the drainage purposes so like you can see here uh, before uh, the construction of a building I need to put aggregates in order 
to provide stability for my uh, uh, my uh, building. Also, I'm going to use the aggregates as fillers, either in produce uh, Portland cement concrete or in order to produce hot mix asphalt. And uh, to know the uh, uh, the importance of the uh, aggregates in Portland cement concrete, the uh, aggregates represent about 60 to 75 percent of the volume, and also it represents about 80 to 85 percent of the weight. So uh, most of the uh, Portland cement concrete consists of the aggregate. Similarly, regarding the hot mix asphalt, here I have hot mix asphalt. Uh, the aggregate represent about 80% to 90% of the volume and represent about 90 to 96% percent, uh, percent of the weight. So uh, the, uh, the concrete and the uh, hot mix asphalt, both of them, the, uh, the aggregate represent the predominant uh, 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 volume or the weight. And like you, like you can see here, the uh, aggregate uh, composed of different sizes. So in this sample here, I have different sizes of the uh, aggregate. So uh, the size of the aggregate is going to affect the density and the stability of the uh, component, whether it's uh, Portland cement or hot mix asphalt. So it's very important to determine the particle size of the uh, aggregate. And in, in order to do that, we are going to use the sieves. So we call this sieve. So sieve number one, two, three, four, five. The sieve is consists of wires, mesh. Here you can see wires in vertical and horizontal directions. So uh, every sieve is consists of a mesh. Okay. So uh, we are going to divide them into uh, uh, two categories. The first one the larger sieves. So, like I say here, every sieve is uh, consists of a number of uh, uh, wires in X and in Y axis, like this one here. So, we have the larger sieves and we have the smaller sieve. In the larger sieve, uh, uh, the, the sieves are designated in inches. So, I have three inches sieves. It means that the, the size of the opening here is three inches, three inch by three inch. So here I have two inches. That means that direction is two inch and this one is two inch. So that is going to represent the uh, dimension of the opening inside the sieve. While the smaller sieve are designated by sieve number. So the smaller one, we are going to uh, uh, call them uh, sieve number four, sieve number 10. So what does it mean? When I say sieve number four, that means in one inch, if I'm going to measure one inch, in one inch, I'm going to find four openings. Opening one, opening two, opening three, and opening four. Uh, if I'm going to uh, say that I have sieve number 10, that means in one inch, I'm going to have opening one, two, three, up to 10. And in uh, sieve number 200, that means in one inch, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to find 200 openings. So uh, it means that uh, the uh, the bigger the sieve number, the smaller the grain size. So in the smaller sieve, the, if the number is big, that means the size is small. Whereas in the larger sieve, if the number is big, that means uh, the uh, the sieve is going to be big, okay? So we are going to uh, uh, differentiate uh, between the two di different types of sieves uh, by uh, if it's a number like this one, that means the bigger the number, the smaller the grain size. While this one here, the bigger the number, that means the bigger the grain size. Uh, also, uh, we are going to differentiate between the uh, the aggregates through uh, the sieves itself. So in order to uh, know the particle size of the sieves, I'm going to put uh, a sample uh, of aggregate inside uh, on the top uh, sieve here. I'm going to open uh, this one and I'm going to put 
a sample of the aggregate. Then I'm going to shake the whole system here so that uh, each aggregate is going to uh, retain on its own size. Uh, so depends on that, we are going to differentiate the aggregates into coarse aggregate and into fine aggregate. So the, the coarse aggregate, which is a gravel, that means the aggregate is going to retain on a sieve with 4.75 openings. While the fine aggregates, the sand, the uh, material is going to pass through a sieve of 4.5 mm opening. So we mainly we are going to call this sieve number four. So this one is sieve number four. If the aggregate is going to retain on sieve number four, we are going to call this coarse aggregate. If the sieve, if, if the uh, aggregate is going to pass through uh, sieve number four, we are going to call this fine aggregates. So it depends on the uh, uh, particle size. Uh, we are going to uh, uh, have two types of aggregate, the, uh, the, the coarse aggregate and the fine aggregate. I'm going to stop here next time. Sieve number four, it means in one inch I have four openings. Next time we are going to talk about uh, uh, other definition which they are very important in order to characterize the aggregates. We have the maximum aggregate size, we have the nominal maximum size in traditional definition and in the super uh, paved definition.